We do quite regular free events online. When I say regular, there's probably a new meaning to the word regular um, because we do two a month, but there's no particular pattern to um, how we do them, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so you could find them on uh, www.coffeeclatch, that's K O F F E E. K L A T C H dot co dot UK forward slash events. And we do about two a month. And we tend to, when I've been talking about the immediate ones, we, we try to do practical ones. We think as a micropreneur, you've got your hands full and you don't want to take a degree in jurisprudence or you know global laws or something. You need to know what can I do today to make things better for me or my clients. We do a mixture of um, stuff to do with securing your data, stuff to do with sharing data across the world, stuff to do with contracts, all in the sort of language I'm using now. So I've tried as far as humanly possible to avoid GDPR jargon. What we try and do, we're not in the £5,000, £1,000 for an audit market, right? What we did was we grouped our customers together. So we have an online program and a support group, which is GDPR for what we call digital VIPs. So they are people who are using digital marketing, social media um, daily. They're not people who might send out a MailChimp campaign at Christmas on a good day, you know. And we are we have an online course that does the basics. You know, but we are constantly in dialogue with the group. This is going on, that's going on. What's the problem with this? Because the theory of GDPR runs aground with the reality of clients being maniacs, not to put too fine a point on it. Clients often want stuff done that's not lawful. You don't want to lose the business. But how do you finesse back to the high ground? How do you demonstrate results and good practice? Is something we seem to be talking about all the time. We do that. That's on coffeeclatch.co.uk forward slash GDPR. You see, keep it simple. Gin, Divone, Prosecco and Rome. But you do have to bring your own alcohol. And within that, we do live updates. What we've talked about today is a kind of overview of the fundamentals, you know. And we have a lot of replays on how to secure your laptop, how to, um, all the things you need to do, really. And... At the moment, we're just finishing a big section on handling children's data, and which we're going to update in our program. We're always building out because GDPR is a thing. It's not people said, "Well, I did GDPR two years ago," and that's about as daft as saying, "I did my bank reconciliation two years ago, so I don't need to do it again." GDPR is not a set of documents. It's not a set of policies no one can understand. It's a process of understanding what you're doing and continuing to improve it and making that work commercially. Because we don't want to be GDPR dinosaurs that we were so compliant we just went out of business.